first you introduce me yourself so uh, yeah. you just mentioned you yeah. you're from lahore what sort of diploma you did before what sort of qualification you have before i have done business management and administration level 4 and le uh, level 5 and level uh, level 5 and level 6 in london level 5 okay, which are from iam and level 6 from i think the same institute but now i now i am looking for level 7 so i'm using okay. online which yeah. which awarding body was is it, it was cmi or it was different it, uh, aim it was aim oh, aim okay institute of administration management yeah okay brilliant uh, kadir i'm from uh, leeds bradford i'm right, working yeah. with roman uh, i'm working with roman last uh, around two and a half year but i know in last uh, five years six year now so uh, okay, i work good. i work various institute i'm currently working university of hull and uh, university of cumbria and i'm teaching in university of bradford as well okay. so uh, nice. my qualification i did partly qualified acca mma in international business management mma in marketing practice mba from pakistan and a pgc in teaching which is a teaching qualification so i'm teaching nice. last around 7 hmm. years now and i used to work in the and um around okay. six and a half years in uk so before that i was in pakistan so that's all that's about me nice. that's all about yeah. me and i my best to meet your expectation if you not get me please ask me so today we are doing lesson 3 but you miss you know first two lessons so i'll go through a bit you know recap session first and then we'll start our proper okay. lesson yes. is there uh, how many students were there for the last two sessions uh it should be good five student but unfortunate i'm not sure they will be available today they will join us or not few of them they used to i'm not yeah, sure actually still, I, i i i send invitation yeah, actually, to everyone actually i i took around five or six sessions but i did not met any other students so actually uh, oh you not met any unfortunately oh uh, no, i no, think I, is I, maybe maybe is a coincidence sometime you know when you yeah. are in they not or yeah. because during my first lesson when i send you the emails as well only two yeah. students join one is a left street mm. and one other was um, i forget her name as well so no i'm expecting few supposed to be join what time is best for okay. you is it this is this is the best time for you i'll i'll try to be look around normally i'll send them recording as well those miss you know the lesson yeah but uh, but for the last two sessions i did not receive any recording but previous uh, lesson i have have, the, the... have have you received my email i sent you first lesson during first lesson i think so yeah i checked it but i think i did not i did, did not receive it, but i will check we check again yeah i will reach no problem no problem so what i'll do i'll make sure i'll send you recording due to any reason is it the yeah. friday is the best for you yes yeah right fine actually last time i just forget about my lesson i was just working actually i'm a freelancer and working as a graphic designer and website designing so i just missed the last one i did I remember about this. so i just missed that. Uh, okay no problem let's you know so first lesson i covered uh, i discuss about modules and assessments uh, which i'll go through the separate lesson i discuss about what is the strategies and strategic planning and i discuss about environmental factors potter generic strategies and uh, i discuss about oh, what's happened with these companies maybe you are aware of as well big w woolworth store bhs yeah. home store all these company not any more in the business due to the poor strategic planning 
the title of your unit is a uh, strategic planning which is a uh, one of unit under athe level 7 extended diploma in management so uh, lesson lesson aims and objective these were introduction to strategy or uh, strategic planning i discussed with them environmental factors porter generic strategies and and then we discuss, you know, where the word strategy originally came from. It's it's used to be in military. Actually, it's came from a Greek word, which is we used to make strategies against enemies. But in a business world, is is using often, and we are is quite useful to make our strategy. Those are competitive, and we can enhance our profit, and we can stay ahead, you know, in competition. So strategy is okay. not just for the top level managers, which we discuss is everyone we could involve. These are different options we discuss as well. Like according is it to something, part, like, is it yeah. something like uh, planning? Yes, it is something like planning, but we can say action plan. Okay. Strategies mean action plan. Competitive strategies about being different. It means that deliberately choosing different set of activities to deliver a unique mix value. So we need to make a competitive according to the Michael Porter, one of the is very popular in academia. He wrote many books and he gave us a lot of definition, a lot of models as well, which we'll normally use for the planning purposes. So one of this is competitive strategies according to the Michael Porter. We need to be deliberately choosing different activities. So we need to differentiate against our competitors, against other companies, those are we are competing. So unique and mixed value. So we need to look around strategies are the strategic planning. We're looking the long term planning, not short term. All right. uh, during our first lesson, we discuss about mission and mission and the value. Right. Uh, we discuss about uh, we discuss about ASDA mission to be a Britain best value retailer exceeding customer needs always, and the second largest UK retailer with 321 stores. Well, then we discuss about Tesco. Uh, what is the mission statement? Our core purpose. And then we discuss about what's come under the planning, situational analysis. Of first, we need to do situation. What sort of situation really we are working? We are doing our business. Then we discuss about goal setting, creating path, and use the plan. So then, under situational analysis, we discuss different models. SWOT. We discuss about review all three week plan, observation method, mission, and vision. And we discuss about goal setting. Smart objective, which is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time defined. Then we discuss about SWOT, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and thread model. And we discuss about you know creating a path, how we can create effective path to be achieve our organization objective. Then discuss with you that there is generic strategies according to competitive strategies which is mean concern with the strategic business unit sbus is mean like you know toyota they have many models so we can say each model is a one business unit and we can make our strategies our strategic plan accordingly so like toyota corolla toyota avances and various other models they have so we can look around you know we can make strategies accordingly to achieve our organization objective to maximize the profit and according to the porter, we can make three type of strategies. We discuss about the cost leadership. We can be a leader in the cost wise. We can focus on the cost or we can differentiate ourselves, our differentiation focus. Then we discuss about the cost leadership, what's include lower input cost economies of scale and differentiation strategies. We discuss about, you know, how we could differentiate ourselves again. Other company, then we stuck, you know, according to the porter. If we want to be a cost leader in the market, we want to produce a things cheaper than our competitors. So we need to stick with it, or we want to differentiate a unique, you know, like Holiday Inn. They not focus on the cost, they focus on the 
quality or the uniqueness. So we need to be look around our other small premier in our various other budget hotel. They normally focus on the cost. So we need to look around. We don't need to be mix up the cost in the unique. Otherwise, we will be stuck in the middle according to the porter and we discuss. Then we played the quiz. If you click there, you can play. We can go through some point and some video we played. We discuss about pest pestle forces. So every business father, we have two types of environment. One is called internal, one is external. So internal within our organization, external is outside, like a Brexit in UK is affecting every businesses. So we can't really, you know, uh, yeah. control them. We, we have to make our plan accordingly. So like uh, uh, in Pakistan, different sort of governments, they have their own manifesto. So we can't really control them. We have to adjust our operation accordingly. So these yeah. are political, under political factor. We discuss about inflation rate, how much we have. Uh, maybe in Pakistan, we have a 6% inflation. In UK, we have a 2% inflation. Tax rate, maybe in, in Pakistan, we have a 10% tax rate. In UK, we have a 20% tax rate and employment laws and social so we need to make the strategic plan where we want to be in business by looking all these factors okay this week was our lesson one okay. and during uh, during our last lesson sorry i'm a bit doing a bit fast because we already yeah. did these lessons that i'm recording as well so i'm just you know going through yeah. during okay. our during second lesson, I discuss about Porter Five Forces, capability, competency, BCG metrics, and so we discuss about what is meant by capability and competencies. Is there any difference between them? What do you think? Competency and what's other? Capability. Capability. Okay, capabilities like if uh, if I am I am able to do is or not. Uh, I'm not sure about the other one. Okay, capability mean you have ability to do. You pass your driving test. It mean you have yeah. ability to drive. But okay. competencies come after a while. It mean you have experience. You can you can't make the mistake. Okay. You are such a competent. All right, yeah. it's about experience, you know. Perfect, perfectionist, perfectionist. Yes, perfectionist. So more perfections yeah. there. So yeah. CD capability might provide sustainable. So capability when we have it provide us competitive advantage for organization. So during our yeah. last lesson, we discuss about one model V R I O. Vero model analysis, which is quite popular in academia, normally we use. So we discuss then resource based view model that we can use for the competitive advantage. We discuss about the strategic capabilities are the capabilities of an organization that continue long term survival. We discuss about resources. We discuss about competencies. So when we want to be or want to be competitive, do you know what is meant by competitive advantage? Uh, yeah, when we have something better than our competitors. We are okay, brilliant. Yeah, we have something, some uh, more facilities, or some advantage over the, of our competition or our competitor market. Like something we are providing and the other one, uh, other, yeah, don't talk. Yet they don't provide normally. Yeah. So we can look around the advantage. So competitive advantage according to the portal is come. We need to look around the resources and how competent we are. We use them. If we have a both, you know, the thousand pound, thousand pound. So maybe you perform better than me because you're a competent because you have a knowledge you have expertise and you have a b ability. So maybe one perform is performing better than other because they are using the resources effectively. So every yeah. organization have some resources, physical resources. 
some financial mm. resources and some human resources so when we are talking right. about you know the building like you know some company daytime start a buffet in a hotel so some the mm. evening they do some different because they want to be full utilization full capacity they want to be work as will work full capacity productivity will increase so we need to be look around how effectively we use our assets we have a big house empty house no po- no point you know we have a big building big yeah. land need to think about how we'll use it to get more output from it yeah get get benefits from the so when we looking the financial so we looking the cash we have a cash but the cash staying in the bank no point that cash will flow and we can multiply with it that's benefit so we need to yeah. look around the human if we have a workforce how effectively will you use right people for the right job right skill the right department so we will put yeah. them all these leads to the competitive advantage for the, against our competitor so we need to look around so this is the competencies we need to build it in our organization to sustain long term then we yeah. discuss about redundant cap- capability capability never stay the same things are change you know in innovation maybe we used to be perform really well new software new it's new technique dot net yeah. various other the other things become with the passage of time redundant so we need to okay. be come capability we need to enhance it dynamic so redundant mean you know like you know in our organization people make you know people make redundant from organization the redundant capability mean the things in the past was very effective but not anymore yeah, we but used not to be pride used yeah. to be pride as a okay. successful company it's not mean we will stay successful forever so we need to make yeah. a change then we discuss about dynamic these are mean by which organization has ability to renew and recreate cd capability dynamic okay. mean organization yeah. has ability to renew and recreate so we need to renew it and recreate it because the maybe capabilities we need to polish it up skilling like a mentoring scheme coaching with an organization that will help us to improve our abilities yeah like the the company modifies each model of the cars every year and like like that yeah yes so we need to be ability as according to the dynamic yes sensing yeah. sensing capabilities we need to be constantly scanning constantly scanning mm-hmm. what opportunity what technology is changing so we should have ability to be scan environment you know the across, uh, yeah. solar cars and various other are mm, yeah. so we need to look around the addressing opportunity through new product and processes refiguration uh, so new product and the processes may be required to renew so these are the slides we discussed during our last lesson so threshold okay. capability threshold capability mean the abilities that's a minimum benchmark which is required in industry if we don't if we don't meet it we can't stand it okay the threshold is a very important thing yeah and yes threshold threshold mean if somebody say you know we can make website in 5 days we should make it in 5 days yes that's the threshold yeah yeah okay so distinctive cap- cap- capability these are required to achieve the competitive advantage so we other people they have like when we look you know some uh, companies in pakistan like you know various sort of food chain for suppose they are very successful they differentiate themselves like you know pm house mm-hmm. and various others so we need to think about yeah. competitive advantage yes because they have ability or innovative idea how they unique and value they provide you know free app they do online booking they deliver on free home delivery yes they can provide you pick and drop service they send you know card on christmas they give the free gift they have a um, club card but other company they don't so we need to look around yeah 
so threshold capabilities could be comes from resources threshold or the threshold competency so these we need to be focused on core competencies is a set skills are which is those we required for to be deliver the value for customer required skill it could be every industry different according to this model pro mm -hmm. model is about we need to look around the value reality inimitability and organizational support to be achieve the competitive advantage so when we are looking the value do the capabilities exist that value by the customer we need to look around the customer or worker can really understand what the customer needs and the wants are if not then is create a problem for our organization okay need to think about okay. then we need to write if do capability exist no are the few competitor for that do we have a real capabilities which is other competitor don't possess it like we have a employees you know working 5 year 10 year they have a 15 year experience we are people yeah. from different background different ethnic background we have a people from different age groups those are real which is competitor don't have so we listen them we get the ideas from them in yeah. inventability are yeah. the are the capability difficult and costly in immutability are the capability difficult and costly for the competitor to obtain no other competitor can obtain which we can oh. so organizational support is the organizational appropriate organize and explore exploit the capability so we need to look around <coughs> organizational support you know is it available in our organization those will help to be like you know anybody allow us to be work in the full potential or not so we need to look around in our organizational sport this is the model you know is a bit revise it so this we can use it to look around the organization then i put the video and then we discuss about value chain value chain is a concept you know if we have a wheat we have a rice we have a lot of god gifted resources in pakistan but unfortunate we not create a value with it yeah we, we have a berries in in uh, forest in jungle but that berry is not creating a value for us if we yeah. can sell it we can earn money from them or we can export it to create the value yes as yeah. a raw material so we need to think about in our organization the things we have how we can create a value from it according to the portal this is the we need to look around the value chain model according to the value chain model value ch according to the value chain model uh, we can look around the primary activity and we can look around the sport activity every organization have a uh, primary activity could be inbound house logistic like inbound call center outbound call center inbound warehouse outbound warehouse what is meant by inbound mm, i'm not sure about inbound you know in pakistan I... we have some warehouse where the things yeah. are coming from outside that's called inbound uh, like like, like any... raw material we putting raw material okay. we are putting in a like, inbound like a car like... center the calls coming from outside the company and what about the fabric for the uh, cloth factory yes that's the inbound in their house where we keep the separate then we have operation we can make the clothes from it finished goods we do operations yeah then we have a outbound where the finished goods we make the final good to sell it okay then we have a marketing and sale activity those are yeah. primary activities for our organization then we can provide after sale service so according to the portal we need to create a value there yes we store we have buy the good material then we do the operation we reduce the time we will make things effectively our operation then we can store the goods we sell it then our marketing campaign need to be effectively 
and we after sale we need to provide the service but there need to be a sport activity these are the primary activities sport activity firm in infrastructure if there is a big boss there is a no rules no responsibility no job description it won't work like yeah. them my resource management yeah. if yeah. there is a promotion no motivation no salary properly then it won't work okay. so then technology if we don't have a right it system in place in our organization it won't work as primary activity mm -hmm. the procurement if we can where we'll buy logistic we need to be look around sound procurement we have all the employer supplier addresses we have a, their credibility we should do the quality checks all these you know procurement sporting activity it will lead to the primary activity so we can create our all value in our organization by looking this okay so, so i just i'm skipping few slide this is all about the value and value system and this we discuss in the last lesson we discuss about toes metric which is is all about the SWOT, which I think so you learn in level five as well, which is SW is strength weaknesses and yeah, T, SWOT and all. Yeah. Yes, is the toes is the just opposite of SWOT. Okay. Is a threads, opportunity, weaknesses, and strength. Okay. So when we make the strategic plan, we look around SO, and it means the strength and opportunity strength is the internal opportunity is external in our organization as the strategic option could be where the strength and threads how we can cope the threads in the market what strength we have as an organization or individual wo what weaknesses we have but how opportunities in the market we have wt weakness and threads if we are weak there are many threads which supposed to be not do the business So please go through these slides. Then we discuss about, have you ever learned about BCG metric? BCG metric, maybe I studied, but I don't remember okay. now. Okay, no problem. BCG is called Boston Consultant Group. Boston in America, they gave the model, Boston Consultant Group, they gave the model is called BCG metric. Some product in the market could be star, like Pepsi itself could be star. Then the Pepsi have so many other brands. It could be zero sugar Pepsi. It could be yeah. uh, some, some product they, is a cash cow. Some product could be a uh, question mark. Some could be according to the market share and according to the growth. Some product is growing a lot. Some product is um, not growing. Star is the business unit which has a high market share and growing. The question mark of the problem child, a business unit is growing market but does not yet high market share is a growing market. Yes, like you know when we look the Apple product, Star could be their mobile uh, top. There still is a growing market. Our tablets, the cash cow, a business unit, high market shares. In the mature market, in some market, some product for them is uh, a cash. Cow. Are these a, are these a part of BCG like a star, a question mark, a cash cow, a dog? What are these called? Yes, it's it's all under the BCG metrics. You know, in maths we learn about the metrics, like you know the boxes. Yes, so we these yeah. are the four boxes. We're looking the market shares and market market shares mean how much worth of we have our how much we are growing company or product in the market so these will help us you know, to make the strategic plan in future how we cope the market okay 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 then we discuss about porter five forces these five forces we discuss during our one of lesson as well we discuss about our five forces we always need to be consider when we make the strategic plan so we said the thread of the new entrants. What is the thread of the new entrants? How new people in the market? So as a company, we need to draw a barrier. Nobody can enter in our market. How we can draw the barrier? Economies of scale. We are producing lower cost than others. With the product we are producing and selling is a good quality. Nobody else is offering. Yeah. 
capital requirement is a huge capital requirement required when we innovative ideas to bring supplier we need to think about the supplier in term of you know supplier power is it supplier power high if is only one supplier half supplier power will be high if it is a huge like in the uk like supermarket in pakistan only few rps control everything yes yeah so, so we need to think about you know the supplier revivery mm. it mean the competition within a market or how many firms thread of substitute we have a lot of threads in pakistan substitute yes you make one thing yeah. maybe somebody copy it next day so yes. thread of the substitute are a lot so we need to think about you know how we can overcome those threads and determine the buyer mm. power is it buyer power is a lie buyer can move from one company to other company one shop to other shop one corner shop to other corner shop if we have more shop the buyer power will be increased yeah so all you know these forces when we'll make the plan we need to look around as well otherwise we can't you know okay i put the quizzes what you can do just copy this link okay and just copy and paste this link once so if you copy and paste this link it will open the quiz ah huh? okay about the porter generic strategies which we learn like in you know, a cost leadership differentiation and all just click there and then you can pick you know which one key benefit being low as cost producer key benefit if we are a lower cost producer what do you think which one will be correct uh, actually my screen is just loading right now no problem key key benefit of being the lowest cost producer under maybe under cut on price well done correct yes. well done correct yeah, yes okay okay so in this way you carry on doing okay and do the yeah. quiz your own okay if you if you are wrong go back to finish and it says review ah huh? uh, it will give this option at the end or i can go back the same step ah uh, yes you can go back as well same step carry on doing at the end you can review it ah huh? okay i will okay that was our second lesson and today we'll discuss little bit more things okay at least now okay i'm giving you task do you know l'oreal yes. do you use l'oreal products uh, no i think i did not hear about do you are you aware of l'oreal no i did not hear l'oreal Uh, all ladies all ladies knows very well l'oreal perfume l'oreal paris uh aliva shampoo and various others uh paris you know the perfume okay. and various other is a l'oreal a french company so all right cosmetics related yeah yes and they have many products so i'm giving you activity you're doing research about l'oreal what mission okay. they have what we and they are looking what corporate objective they want to achieve as a organization corporate objective mean organization objective what strategy okay. they have at the minute and All number right. of brand they are selling uh, do you know the stakeholders what is meant by stakeholders uh, all the partners which are working for that company like uh, like suppliers employees all the, all the person who are uh, partners 
like investing ceo okay. all these called okay. stakeholders good good stakeholder mean anybody who has any interest in the company will be yeah. a stakeholder yes yeah. and any person interest will be influenced or impacted mm-hmm. due to the action of the company will be a stakeholder the generation will come after us if we are polluting environment we are making we are just you know boozing horns on the roads it mean mm-hmm. we are impacting the stakeholders if we park the cars wrong we are impacting the stakeholders interest right. yes yeah so stakeholders could be anybody their interest will be impacted from our actions it could be or they have any interest in the company like shareholder mm-hmm. like customer like uh, suppliers like all these you know are the stakeholders Okay, so customers are also stakeholder for any company. Yeah, it's not mean shareholder. Shareholder mean investor. Yeah, they different. have an interest. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, stakeholder means anybody who has any interest. All right. Do we know mm-hmm. Nestle? Yeah, it has many small brands. More Nestle. Nestle Pakistan is very popular. Yes, L'Oreal in Pakistan is popular too. Nestle. Okay. all the halib milk various other milk yes for kids yes so so we are so doing same, research the same same things for this brand as well yes all please things. so two companies will do research before next lesson okay uh, it would be great if you can send me the all the materials again in my email for both lessons no. so i can Both no problem one. no problem i will okay so key concept we learn value chain unsof unsof was the one of russian used to study in states and um, igor unsof his name was he was a mathematician he gave the matrix is called unsof matrix like this okay. uh, matrix which i'll show you balance score card one of the model which is gave by porter as well balance score card model is quite popular toes metric culture of organization which we discuss culture mean norms value the way the business we run so when we'll make the plan we need to look around as well okay when we are making strategic options so we need to look around always swot analysis key element organization purpose generic strategies market option expansion method resource based view how we can make you know a strategic option strategic option based on the option based on the environmental analysis or generic strategies which we discuss cost leadership cost you know so these resource based options we discuss supply chain value chain like in other slides and these are the some video when we are looking the strategic option for mental based option we looking the generic strategy in market option and expansion methods which i'll go through in the one more lesson with you in detail resource based option value chain model resource based so i will what i'll do i will send you i'll send you these two case studies as well is one case study okay. one is a power gin company how they make you know which is now called eon in uk is very popular they gave this model and will okay when we'll make the strategic plan we need to choose our strategies what strategies we will adopt then we'll make the statement do you know what is the qualitative and quantitative yes quantitative is the number numbers and all qualitative is about the quality right and qualitative is uh, information and quantitative is the numbers so formation of the specific plan deadline responsibility resource allocation is quite crucial when we'll make the strategic plan i'll put some slides you know corporate object 
a corporate plan how we can make you know where we'll spend it okay balance score card when we'll make the balance score card we always look around the financial perspective financial perspective mean how will profit will earn how much will be will return in term of when we'll make any plan internal perspective we need to be streamline our processes kpi mean key performance indicator reduce our waste reduce our so we need to look around customer perspective we need to look around the objective improve customer satisfaction feedback and compliant perspective as well we need to look around in a perspective we need to look around how our employees will learn how will give them training how will do up skilling for them so all these will lead to and we need to balance it you know if we don't balance it we can't achieve our strategic objective which mean long term objective which as an organization we want to be a competitive advantage we want to be sustained we want to be uh, accelerate you know our what we need to be focus on okay so that's that's all we'll keep up to here what i'm going to do uh, kadir i'm going to send you all the yeah. all the resources i'm going to send you the book okay i'll help you okay so this is level 7 your i'm going to send you the qualification layout as well we are doing strategic planning we are doing so which i'll send you as well yes which is we are doing this first unit yes planning yeah. level 7 okay. yes uh, 60 guide learning our 15 credit unit and i'm going to send yeah strategic planning slide and i'm going to send you two books as well okay okay i'll send you these case studies okay yeah and what i will done from the case study i just read I it you know I... just just revise okay. it you know read it that will help you so what i'll do nice. i'll go through next lesson more in details hope so will other join i'll push them you know to join it so yeah, sure. today technically was third lesson but i'll assume is a second lesson because i need to be maybe spend two more lessons with you so then we'll finish so i'll this lesson is a recorded lesson so i'll send you the recording link as well so you can listen Can watch and yeah, sure. can uh, justify as well. Yeah, sure. I Are you aware? Pause on Moodle. You can find the things you know on Moodle as well. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I think so. Ramon already explained you what is meant by Moodle, and uh, here we can yeah, find. Yeah, yeah. He told me. So, yeah. if you look under level seven, I'll try to be upload all the. relevant uh, material and the resources there so first we are doing strategic business yes so if you click there so that's the course contents of this unit what we supposed to be learn so we supposed to learn 1.1 1.2 where we supposed to be explain the relationship between mission we and strategy and business plan and like you know i mention you one in the during first lesson you will find the definition of mission and vision which i'll send you as well external internal environment environmental analysis which we discuss so uh, these all things there and each learning outcome what we supposed to do what we supposed to learn so swart environmental analysis step we already did in the previous lesson Uh, so i need to little bit explain you more so we'll spend at least two more lessons on soft metrics and all these yes value based okay. state, contingencies and all this i need to we further need to go through with you as well any questions so far it's fine i just want to clear about uh, how i will uh, you know the the, uh, the passing process for these subjects like is there any final final assignments or and there are few uh, small task like at the end of the each lecture there is the, yes you need to do one assignment which is assignment this is one of the learning outcome like you know 1.1 1.2 1.3 
I'll send you, and that's all. Really, you know, we need to address it. That so this all. You know, That's, that will be at the end of the all session. Uh, yes, you know, what I'll do, I'll go through. These are the, these are the questions we need to answer. Okay. So I'll go through one lesson with you, how we can address, you know, each learning outcome. Any question? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. Kadir, have a lovely evening. Inshallah, I'll see you. Hope so. Weather will be nice in Lahore. Yeah, it is. Huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, nice weather. Okay.